Hey there, how are you doing? Team Nokia Power User here and we welcome you all to the hands-on impressions video, the Build 14926. Build 14926 is the latest Windows 10 mobile redstone to build that Microsoft has pushed to Windows Insiders in Fastream. The build brings with itself some new changes and features and for that reason it brings many issues and bugs as well. So, so um, I mean, if you go to the known issues of this build, you will see that there are some annoying and irritating kind of issues. So you should go and read that before you, uh, I mean, decide to go for this build or upgrade to this build. Because as we said, uh, since this is a new, you know, whenever we talk about new features and changes coming to certain build, it happens that you get some new code in that. So that brings many bugs and issues. So uh, we will talk about our hands-on experience with this build and how it has run like a I mean how it how it has uh, actually run as a daily driver because we use uh, fast ring builds as a daily driver so that we can understand what kind of issues and uh, I mean bugs are there or how how you can live with it how well you can live with it so now we'll talk about that we will also talk about the bugs and issues that we could find and finally we'll talk about installation experience so here we let's begin with the installation experience first so uh, the installation experience has been mixed and uh, like you can see that uh, our Lumia 640XL it was able to you know in, uh, upgrade to the build 14926 but if you talk about two of our devices one Lumia 550 and one Lumia 650 we were not able to upgrade it so there is a workaround for that you should need to you need to uh, pull out the SD card if you have then you will be probably be able to upgrade to this build but then again there are two new issues which happens if you do that <clears throat> the issues are uh, like uh, if you upgrade after you know removing the sd card there are chances that when you go to the uh, you know when you go to the lock screen you and if you have a pin enabled the pin pad does not appear so that is a very big issue if for some the sim has gone into error and they are uh, not error to or the device is not able to identify the sim so such kind of issues which are really irritating and annoying in nature <clears throat> so if you talk about the installation experience it has been sort of 50 50 not not that good for the devices like Lumia 640XL it has been very smooth but for some devices you would not be able to upgrade to now coming to how the build actually runs so surprisingly if you once upgrade like on the device uh, Lumia 640XL we have not encountered many issues in the daily to daily run so you can see the same kind of theme appears here so uh, you can just check that all the things like settings navigation etc it all works fine Let's go to browser and check. So the browser works quite good actually we have not seen any crashes etc let's open one more tab And we would see the first issue here appearing in the browser. So uh, what we browsed has gone.
okay so now uh, <laughs> we could just see a kind of bug here in the browse while doing the browsing that uh, the the site that we have opened earlier is gone and uh, the tab was the tab has kind of crashed but now it's work uh, it works fine once you have loaded the page etc so uh, even browser has got a new code a new feature to show which is a snooze feature <clears throat> So using the snooze feature it's integrated to Cortana you can create a reminder basically and you can remind uh, something with related to that page so if you want to you know share with someone at a particular time or at a particular place you can create a reminder so that's what this is a new feature which has gone into the browser and obviously there can be issues as we just discussed so uh, let's send this to background Let's open Cortana. Let's send it to the background. Let's open the store. So as we can see the uh, Wi-Fi and the mobile data, the basics, uh, they, they work fine. So we will quickly check how the mobile data works like. So as you can see the mobile data also, I mean, uh, both the things are working. So Wi-Fi was working as well. And now the mobile data also uh, is working fine on this build, at least uh, on our device, Lumia 640 XL. But as we mentioned on some devices like 550 or 650, you may face even issues with uh, you know sim card so it's not possible to switch on the mobile data either so let's quickly check the multitasking part We can quickly check a game as well. Let's check the Subway Surfer, how the game behaves on this, how whether it's unstable or it can still run. Let's quickly check how, uh, or I mean, with a game on, how the multitasking works like. So, so far it looks good. So, even with uh, the bugs and issue that we saw, we just saw that even in browser there can be, you know, some kind of issues like the tab disappearing or crashing. Apart from that, we have talked about many bugs and issues which are in the known issues list. Apart from that, we talk about what we have seen is in case of sharing especially. If you try to share an image 
two different applications, it can crash at times. It's very unreliable. So if you try to attach an image directly from the gallery to a mail or to WhatsApp or whatever, it will it, it can crash actually. Most of the time, 70% of the time it crashes. So that is one issue that we have encountered. And apart from that, you can, as we said, there are like bugs and issues because new code comes. So we will quickly, we just saw that there is a new feature in the browser, which is snooze. We can also see what else has changed. So if you go to the Wi-Fi page, you can see this Wi-Fi is now, uh, it has the same kind of UI and same kind of options, which are there in the Windows 10. So from the Windows 8, uh, phone 8.1 uh, kind of settings. Now we have this setting, which is, which was present on Win in Windows 10 and now it is, it has made its way to Windows 10 mobile. So a new look for Wi-Fi. Talking to, I mean, coming to the battery life, even the battery life uh, kind of seems affected by the new build because uh, if you talk about the experience from the last build where battery life was good actually, there is a degradation of like 25 to 30%. So battery now goes really fast. Uh, I think there are some background processes which are running and that, that costs lots of battery life. So in our case, we have seen that the battery life has decreased so from like 30 hours or 32 hours now we are getting somewhere around 24 to 28 hours on a lumia 640 xl so the battery life has also gone for a toss we will say so obviously with a uh, fastering build running on a device you cannot expect uh, it to be very smooth and that too in an initial phase but then you should know before you want or you want to go for it or not you can also obviously go to the slowing and opt for something else if you don't want to go with this but if you talk about uh, you know being a being like a kind of person who wants to be in really fastering and i uh, want to get new builds then you should be fine because i am living with this build and uh, I mean, it's not giving me those kind of issues at every step. There are issues, of course, but you can live with it. Live with it if you are like a insider who can take a calculated amount of risk. So with that, we come to end of this video. Uh, I mean, the the as we said, things are mixed here. Installation experience is mixed. There are lots of bugs and issues. But then again, surprisingly, the build is still stable. You don't see your OS crashing, etc. So those kind of things don't happen you can still see that the build is stable, smooth and the multitasking was good active. So kind of a mixed package. So with the new builds, if with new features and changes, there may be more uh, bugs and issues. So we will keep it, uh, we will keep, I mean, kind of, we will uh, keep it bringing for you all the reviews. So hope you have liked the video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.